the body. What an intelligent machine that we walk around in. See, the body knows that you won't change if you're comfortable. And that is why it has created a mechanism called sickness. If we didn't get sick, we would die without warning. Thank God for sickness. See, when you get sick, your body is sending you a message saying, hey, pay attention to me, care about me, stop eating all that junk food, treat me with respect. What I'm trying to say is our country is sick. And this election is just another symptom. Now we can take the pills they're gonna give us to suppress the symptoms, but we're still gonna have more and more heart attacks, more and more strokes, and ultimately an early death. Or we can get to the root and start paying attention to our body that we call humanity. What if this election is a blessing in disguise? Why? Because people don't change when they're comfortable. If we had gotten a candidate that made us comfortable, it wouldn't have made us change. It would have made us sleep. And it is time to wake up from some very deep illusions. Illusions like we can push a button every four years, get a sticker, and then go home and binge watch an episode of Game of Thrones and our civic duty is done. No. We must wake up to the sad truth that we have more choice in soda than in government. We must wake up to the fact that we cannot legislate our way out of human problems, nor can we truly change the world by changing the rulers. People are asking me, how did this happen? Isn't it obvious? A plant cannot grow if the soil is not fertile. This election couldn't have happened in the way that it took place if we didn't have the conditions in our culture to allow it to happen. So I say, thank God for Donald Trump to wake us up because these birth pains are here to evolve us to our next level of consciousness. And as the world gets closer and closer to where it can cure everything and simultaneously closer and closer to where it can kill everything. The choice is ours, fear or love. We can either keep masking and fighting the symptoms or we can get to the root. I say this as a black man, as a man who lives eight minutes away from where Michael Brown was killed in Ferguson. It is up to each of us to be the change we want to see in the world. You know, funny story, I learned how to solve a Rubik's Cube the other day. I don't know if you know this, but it's not about just getting one side right. That's easy, one color right. To solve the puzzle, each side and each color has to work together in harmony. And that is how we're gonna solve our problems with harmony and togetherness. Peace.